Good morning, everybody. Another Monday morning, and I hope you're all well. Now, um, I am. Uh, you may have noticed I am sporting a beautiful paper bag from Bradley's Chemist, and uh, that is because uh, if you are prone to shock or have a nervous disposition or suffer from your nerves, I would urge you to not watch this vlog because shortly I'm going to take off my bag and you will be aghast and appalled and, and, and maybe permanently scarred and traumatised by the state of me because I am sick. Um, I himself is sick as well. We are both belurgied. Um, so I just didn't want to shock you. So now I'm going to remove the bag. Hold on. Slowly now, slowly, slowly. Don't look at me all at once. I'm sorry, but I'm sick, do you see? I'm not well. And uh, sure, look at uh, the whole country uh, appears to be sick from what I can uh, glean. Um, and uh, I haven't been sick for ages and uh, and that's been nice, you know? But, um, but sure, look at, uh, we're all sick now. And um, what can I tell you? Well. It's hard when I'm sick because I do be prone to the morbid thoughts and stuff like that because I don't have my normal distractions. Um, so hold on, I'm going to take a drink of water because my mouth's very dry. Ah. Right, I want to tell you things about baby Teddy. Um, we were up in the Halloween shop with the lads, with the Redsers, and the Halloween shop is lovely because they play, it's just a pop-up shop, it's only there for like a couple of months of the year, and they play Halloween songs the whole time you're there, and it's like being in the Strictly version, the Halloween show, which is my favourite show, and so that was very nice, but we saw this fabulous rug out that the lads, the Redsers picked it out for baby Teddy. It's a little divil outfit. It's a kind of an all in red yoke with horns and, and wings and and you buy um, a pitchfork to go with it. And so we gave it to him on Friday. And my experience of nippers is that they won't ever dress up in the things you want them to dress up in. Like Redser the Younger, we bought him a pumpkin outfit a few years ago and he like roared the house down he, until it was taken off him again. So my hopes weren't high that baby Teddy was going to, to, to wear it. But first of all, he adored the pitchfork and he was going and he nearly took Tig's, literally nearly took Tig's eye out. Um, you know, he was going around jabbing it at everyone. And, uh, and then he put the outfit on and he didn't kick up and he actually posed for photographs with his pitchfork. And he's only 20 months, do you know, like he's brilliant. And, uh, and the Redsers are after getting guinea pigs and um, oh my God, it's just so funny. Me and himself were lying in the bed this morning and uh, the poor guinea pigs are terrified and they're hiding under hay in, in the hutch. And we were saying like, imagine how scared you'd be if suddenly your roof was lifted off and these two Redsers were kind of, you know, coming in at you and they were quaking under their bits of straw going, go away, please, no, no, leave us, no, please. No, please, little red-haired boys. No, 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 we're terrified. Anyway, one of them is called Messi. That's Oscar's one. And the SSI, like uh, the footballer. And uh, Dylan's is called Marcia. Anyway, they gave me the creeps, uh, the guinea pigs, not the lads. Um, no, I'm very fond of the lads. Um, but himself there says they're too thin at the moment. And when they, when they bulk out a bit, that they'll be cuter. I don't know. They're a bit rodenty for my liking. But still, the lads seemed happy. And... Um, so a busy week and uh, can I show you some of the prizes for um, the amnesty due on Thursday. Um, we have a worry eater, which is like a reds or worry eater, which is sort of cute because um, because it was the Redsers that gave me my worry eater who is here. That one is Lily. This one is called Flam. And this one is called Frula. That one's a really cute one. But I like Lily the best. So these will be available for winning on the Thursday night. And then I have some other things to show you, which have been gifted by a mystery benefactor. It is a it is an actual real new Falabella Stella McCartney wallet. And also gifted by a, a mystery benefactor is a bag from Sophia Webster. Not just any bag, a watermelony bag. 
little rucksack. Isn't it cute? Anyway, they're all available for the winning on the Thursday night. And I wanted to talk to you about this book I'm reading. It's called The Making of Molly. And it's by Anna Carey, who has written other young adult novels. But this one is set in 1912. And it's about a 14 year old girl whose older sister is a suffragette. So the 14 year old Molly becomes a suffragette as well. And it's really lovely, but I find it, it's quite important. It's made me realize, well, I mean, I knew it, but it's really brought home to me like that any rights that women ha have ever got, they've had to fight for them. Um, and I suppose it feels quite, um, I find it gave me, finding it's giving me courage kind of at the moment, like with the whole um, repeal the eighth campaign kind of heating up that, you know, that women were imprisoned and force fed and brutalized in different ways simply because they wanted to vote. Um, and how kind of the history of women has been, you know, one long battle to be treated as, as fully actualized human beings with the same rights as men. So, you know, and it's a sweet read and there's a little romance in it as well, but still important. And I think, I mean, Emma, m my niece, Emma, is, is a fully fledged feminist at this stage. So, but for the younger boys and girls, I think it would be, although I mean, I'm 53 and I liked it. Anyway, it's really lovely. And I think it's out now. It is out now. Um, so, and life continues to be busy. Next Saturday, then I go to that there England again and to the Cheltenham Literary Festival. And uh, I'll be there on the Sunday for a lunch with the likes of um, Cosmo Landisman and Dolly Alderton and other really fabulous people, Claudia Croft and um, That'll be glamorous and lovely. And then off to London for Bokudu events. Um, so, uh, so I don't know actually if I'll be able to do a vlog for you next week because I would be tray, tray busy or tray busy. But you you never know, we'll try. Or himself might film bits um, of the, the festival. Would you film bits for the festival? He's nodding. Yes, if he can, he's nodding, he's nodding. Um, so I think that's all my news. Uh, I'm sick. Did I tell you I was sick? No, I'm very sick. I mean, but that's the kind of person I am. I'd be sick and I wouldn't tell you, you know. I suffer in silence. I'm, I'm a very stoical sort of a person, but um, actually, yeah, you wouldn't think it to look at me around them, but I am really quite not well. I hope that you're better than me, which is very sick indeed. No, I mean, if you get the lurky, sure, feck it, what can we do, you know? Um, all part of life is a rich tapestry. Um, I hope this has been some way uh, entertaining and uh, thank you for your indulgence and, uh, and if I'm not back next week I will be back the following week because when I'm back the following week then I'm back back. I'm not leaving the country till the, till the end of the year at the very earliest. Mwah! Cheers. Goodbye, goodbye. Have a lovely week. Goodbye. Thanks.